The ratio of fuel to air during combustion is referred to as the vehicle's fuel mixture. Your car is said to be running rich when there is too much fuel and not enough air. On the other hand, your car is said to be running lean when there is too much air in it and not enough fuel. To help you fix the issue and stop wasting fuel, this video will show you the most typical indicators that your car is running rich. But just before we start, please make sure you've subscribed to the channel. Check engine light on. The check engine light on your dash is frequently illuminated when your engine is running rich. P0172, 0175, and P2097 are examples of stored diagnostic trouble codes that may show up when using an OBD2 scanner. All of these have to do with the excess gasoline that is released in the combustion chamber's exhaust gases. The mass airflow sensor, the manifold absolute pressure sensor, and oxygen sensors are among the sensors that provide data to the engine control unit. The ECU activates the check engine light when these sensors identify a problem with the air-fuel ratio. Strong fuel smell. Another typical indicator of a rich running engine is a noticeable fuel odor, particularly coming from the exhaust. This occurs as a result of extra fuel escaping through the exhaust system during combustion rather than burning entirely. A rotten egg smell, which usually denotes a catalytic converter issue, may also be detected. When this part is continuously exposed to too much fuel, it can become overloaded and eventually fail, giving off this characteristic smell. The high expense of replacing a catalytic converter is a compelling argument for paying attention to an engine that is performing well. Even a relatively cheap fix today could quickly become a costly repair later on. Rough engine idle. When their engine is running rich, many will have a rough or uneven idle. This implies that when your car is not moving, it may vibrate noticeably. While the vehicle is at rest, keep an eye on your tachometer. You may notice that the RPMs are erratic rather than constant. Even when driving, this uneven idle can occasionally be felt, giving the impression that there is a continuous vibration. These erratic vibrations are caused by the excess fuel interfering with the engine's regular combustion rhythm, which may make driving less comfortable and seamless. High carbon monoxide emissions. A rich running engine generates significantly more carbon monoxide than usual which is even worse than smoke. While some carbon monoxide is released by all gasoline engines, excessive emissions can be harmful and frequently result in a vehicle failing state emissions testing. It's crucial to remember that elevated carbon monoxide isn't the only issue. A rich fuel mixture also causes a significant increase in hydrocarbon emissions. In addition to being harmful to the environment, these high emission levels may also be harmful to one's health, particularly if exhaust fumes get inside the car. Difficulty starting the engine. Starting issues can occasionally result from an engine running rich, especially if the engine is already warm. Excess fuel can flood the engine, making it more difficult for the spark plugs to ignite the excessively rich fuel mixture. You may observe that your car starts easily in the morning but has trouble turning over after a long period of operation. When you try to start the engine, this symptom is frequently accompanied by a strong fuel smell. It's best to wait a few minutes before attempting to start the car again in order to let some of the extra fuel evaporate if you encounter this problem. Clogged or fouled up parts. Over time, clogged or fouled components may result from an engine running rich. The catalytic converter and spark plugs are the most frequent victims. Carbon deposits are dry, black soot that can coat spark plugs and impair their ability to produce a proper spark. The excess fuel can overwhelm the catalytic converter which is responsible for lowering harmful emissions. This could cause its internal honeycomb structure to clog and degrade. In extreme situations, the catalytic converter may have trouble processing the extra fuel, which could result in backfiring. Poor fuel efficiency. Your engine may be running rich if you notice that you need to fill up your gas tank more often than usual. Because of this condition, your car uses more fuel than it needs to run properly. Remember that engines naturally run a little richer in colder temperatures, so a slight drop in fuel efficiency during the winter months is typical. Regardless of the season, though, a noticeable decrease in gas mileage can be a sign of a rich running engine that requires maintenance. <laughs> Poor engine performance. You'd think that an engine running on too much fuel would perform better. Here's why that isn't the case, though. A precise balance of fuel, air, compression, and spark is necessary for optimal engine performance. This equilibrium is upset when the mixture contains an excessive amount of fuel. An incomplete combustion results from the excess fuel's inability to burn entirely. You might observe that your vehicle struggles to maintain speed, particularly when climbing hills, or feels less responsive when accelerating. This decrease in performance happens as a result of the unburned fuel interfering with the combustion process, which stops the engine from running as efficiently as it could and actually lowers total power. Black smoke from the exhaust. Black smoke from your exhaust is one of the most obvious indicators that your engine is running rich. 
Once more, this happens as a result of incomplete combustion of the excess fuel in the combustion chamber. The result is black or dark gray spokes coming out of your tailpipe. Continuous dark smoke, which gets thicker when you accelerate, is a blatant sign that your engine is getting more fuel than it can effectively use, even though some exhaust is normal, especially during cold starts. In addition to being an indication of an engine issue, this symptom may cause you to look foolish in front of other drivers. Engine misfires. When the fuel in one or more cylinders does not ignite correctly, a misfire happens. It could feel like a rough, erratic engine operation or a stuttering or hesitation when accelerating. In extreme situations, the engine may briefly lose power or shake noticeably. Misfires occur when too much fuel clogs spark plugs, making it harder for them to produce the spark required for correct combustion. Persistent misfires can eventually cause more significant engine damage if they are ignored. Now let's discuss the causes of the problem and how to fix it. Faulty oxygen sensor, the engine control module, ECM, uses an oxygen sensor to measure the amount of oxygen in the exhaust and modify the air fuel ratio. The ECM may add too much fuel as a result of a malfunctioning sensor sending inaccurate data. Change the malfunctioning oxygen sensor, usually a diagnostic trouble code that identifies the malfunctioning O2 sensor is stored. If choosing to do it yourself, locate the sensor using a model-specific service manual or other free internet resources, then replace it according to standard procedure. Malfunctioning mass airflow sensor. The volume of incoming air is measured by the mass airflow sensor. In order to make up for the reported lower airflow, the ECM will inject excessive amounts of fuel. Use the MAF sensor cleaner spray to clean the sensor. Replace the sensor if cleaning doesn't resolve the issue. Finding it between the throttle body and air filter, unplugging the electrical connector, unscrewing the sensor and installing the replacement is usually all that is required. Failing coolant temperature sensor. The engine's operating temperature is determined by the ECM with the aid of this sensor. The ECM may add more fuel if a malfunctioning coolant temperature sensor leads it to believe the engine is colder than it actually is. The coolant temperature sensor should be replaced. After draining some coolant, find the sensor next to the thermostat housing, disconnect it, take out the old sensor, and replace it. Bleed the system and replenish the coolant. Vacuum leaks. The air-fuel ratio can be upset by unmetered air entering the engine due to bothersome vacuum system leaks. The hardest part is usually locating the leak, which is frequently simple to fix. Check for loose connections or cracks in the vacuum lines. Make sure all connections are tight and replace any damaged lines. To find difficult to find leaks in the intake manifold or other parts, use a smoke machine. Damaged fuel injectors. Clogged or stuck fuel injectors may result in excessive fuel delivery. Wear, debris, or electrical problems can also cause injector problems. If the injectors are clogged, clean them with a fuel system cleaner. Injectors that are damaged or stuck must be replaced. Hope the information is helpful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.